I haven't made a video in a while, so I wanted to uh, make a real quick one to tell you guys what's going on. So basically, I got the engine block off to the machine shop. Um, a friend let me borrow one of the torque plates, and I got that all torqued up and everything. And they were able to clean up the cylinder walls on my dart and sleeves. Um, so basically, they had to take off like two and a half thousandths. Um, and basically, I'm having to get my pistons uh, redesigned a little bit around that. Um, so a little bit more information on that later. But um, I should be moving into my 2,000 square foot garage uh, this week or next week. So I should be able to be producing a lot more content and uh, hopefully get this build going a little bit. I also got my um, rod bolts. Uh, Glyco sputtered rod bearings in and also king main bearings. Uh, I sent the king main bearings off for coating today um, And I'm also getting a new set of KM 280 cams uh, basically doing a solid lifter conversion um, So I'll probably show more of that when uh, that stuff comes in all the engine stuff's at the machine shop Unfortunately right now, so um, can't really show much too much of that Also was able to pick up this uh, sweet MIG welder. It's a Lincoln electric Handy make got it at an auction for $170. Um, it's either it uses flux core or you can do um, gas welding. It's got a little port back here and it's got a regulator. Um, so definitely going to come in handy. Came with a uh, cart and everything and a welding mask. So for $170, really can't beat that. Also picked up uh, two fire extinguishers for the new shop. Um, I don't really know if it has any, but you can never be too, too safe with that stuff. So basically here's what I'm working on now. Um, what I have to do is I have to create a cylinder head mold for the piston. So what I did is I 3D printed a M14 by 1.5 uh, plug and I basically screwed this into the spark plug hole and I have this bolt right here and basically what I'm doing is I'm creating a, I'm printing another piece right now that's going to go around this and glue down and it's going to use this bolt right here to center it in the cylinder. Um, and then what I can do there is I can, uh, once it's uh, centered, I can basically just hot glue around it to keep it in place and also to seal it. And I have Bondo um, in, uh, inside, and I'm going to be filling this cylinder head up uh, with Bondo, probably up to here, so, you know, um, the, uh, the the plug's going to be out and everything so it doesn't leak out. Then I can send this off to JE Pistons, and they can kind of use this to gauge, um, basically since I'm going with a high compression piston, an 11 to 1 piston, instead of it being a dish, Instead of it being a dish piston, it's actually going to be a dome piston. So it's going to be sticking up and I want to be able to make sure that it's not going to be hitting any of the cylinder head at all, uh, the dome that is, and that I'm going to have a good clearance. So I'm waiting for the final piece to print out and then I'll basically show you guys how that attaches. Um, and once that's filled up, I put in two plugs here and then I use a, a flat edge like this. And then I basically have to mark a line that's parallel um, with the wrist pin. Um, doesn't matter this direction, um, but this way has to be perfectly parallel with the wrist pin and parallel, you know, with the crankshaft mains and everything. So waiting for the thing to f uh, finish through your printing and then I'll show that. Striving for, um, basically this piece um, has a bolt hole in the center that lines up with the spark plug center. Um, and as you can see, it pretty much is center in, in the bore. Um, so this will give me a pretty, pretty, uh, pretty accurate mold. And then um, once I pour in the, uh, the crap in there, then I can put in two dowels here, run a flat edge, and then I can run a, um, uh, a, like a score across it that will be parallel with the crankshaft. So um, I'm gonna get this hot glued down, then I can remove this screw, remove this plug, I can put in the actual spark plug, and I can uh, try, doing a, uh, try doing a mold. I'm gonna spray the shit out of these with WD-40 because I do not want Bondo sticking to them at all. Um, so that's my plan. That's what I've read. That's what JE recommended. So I'm going to give that a try. Okay, so you see I got a nice layer of snot right here. My snot gun. Um, this is pretty much centered. Um, I got the screw out and I got the plug out. That helped me, you know, get this pretty centered. It doesn't have to be perfect. I started spraying it down with some WD-40. Now I just got to 3D print some uh, dowels for uh, these holes real quick. And then uh, I guess we can try try throwing some Bondo in this thing. This is a spare head, this is not my good head. So if it doesn't work out, oh well, but I think it should. We'll see, here we go. Now it's uh, time to play the waiting game, I guess. Um, should settle out via gravity, so here we go. It's pretty hot right now, it's still curing, but basically what I did is I 3D printed these two dowels. So this way I get a straight, uh, straight line. 
So I put that on there like that, and then with the razor blade down there, I just scored a line across. And this line is basically, um, this line is basically parallel with the, um, I guess the crankshaft mains um, and the uh, the pin bore. Um, doesn't matter where it is this way, but it looks pretty straight. Should be good enough. And then uh, we pull this guy out here. See, it ended up coming out pretty good. So I'm gonna uh, let this keep curing up, and uh, should be should be pretty rock hard here in a couple minutes. Um, but yeah, pretty sweet. Good. Pretty happy with it. Um, you know, it's, I think it's I think it should be good enough for JE's purposes. Um, you can see everything's pretty good. Um, you know, a little bit of bubbles there and there, but I mean, the overall shape is perfect. So I don't think they're gonna have any problems with this. And then I was able to mark that. That flat line came out pretty good too. It's pretty damn straight. So I think this is gonna be perfect. Um, normally what you're supposed to do is bolt the head to the block and then pour it in through the bottom of the block. But um, I didn't have. I don't have the block. It's at the shop. And also I don't want to get freaking Bondo on my, you know, four thousand dollar sleeves. Um, or on my good cylinder head. So I think this worked out really well, and I think it should be pretty damn close to actually, you know, being close enough to it, you know, where the, the cylinder head was actually bolted on. I mean, I got it pretty close, so. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. I've never done this before, so I'm, I'm really happy I got to share something like this with you guys.